what may happen if couplers are not used without the use of couplers scaffolding systems would suffer from significant structural instability posing severe safety hazards the lack of secure connections means the scaffolding is more likely to collapse putting workers at risk of falls injuries or even fatalities additionally the uneven distribution of loads would cause parts of the scaffolding to buckle under pressure assembly and disassembly would be inefficient and time consuming as couplers facilitate quick and secure connections moreover failing to use couplers would result in non compliance with construction standards and safety regulations potentially leading to legal and regulatory issues for the construction company in this training session i would like to share the benefits of using couplers and what are the major six types of couplers so stay tuned let us start without wasting time before going in depth i would like to memorize you that you are on the platform of safety first life if you are visiting for the first time kindly subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all future notifications and if you find the video informative then like comment and share it with your friends and colleagues dear health and safety practitioners you are responsible for inspecting scaffolding structures is it safe to work how you can inspect the structures effectively and efficiently once you are familiar with the components of scaffolds today i'm going to highlight the major types of couplers but before identifying giving you the hints and the signals how you can identify the types of couplers let us start with the benefits of scaffolding couplers benefit number 1 is structural stability and safety couplers provide the necessary support to bear the weight of the scaffolding structure and the loads placed on it couplers ensure that the various parts of the scaffolding are securely connected which is crucial for maintaining the integrity of the structure benefit number 2 flexibility and versatility couplers allow scaffolding to be configured in different shapes and sizes making it adaptable to various construction and maintenance needs couplers are designed to be compatible with different types of scaffolding tubes and components enhancing the flexibility of the scaffolding system benefit number 3 for using scaffold couplers ease of assembly and disassembly using couplers scaffolding can be quickly assembled and disassembled saving time and labor costs couplers enable a modular design allowing for easy adjustments and extensions as needed during a project scaffolding couplers benefit number 4 enhanced safety couplers help distribute loads evenly across the scaffolding structure reducing the risk of structural failure and secondly high quality couplers are designed to meet stringent safety standards ensuring the safety of workers using the scaffolding benefit number 5 durability and reusability couplers are typically crafted from strong materials like steel enabling them to withstand rigorous and harsh working conditions and the most important designed for reuse across multiple projects these components provide a cost effective solution for construction companies by reducing the need for frequent replacements 
you are on the platform of safety first life today we are discussing about the types of couplers the benefits of couplers and the use of couplers there are six major types of couplers number 1 adjustable swivel coupler number 2 right angle coupler number 3 bearer coupler number 4 joint pin number 5 girder coupler and number 6 sleeve coupler let us discuss each type in detail first of all i'll start with right angle coupler this is the shape of the coupler on the right hand side right angle coupler used to connect tube at right angles used to connect runners to posts and used for fixing of scuff fold ties basically three uses connect tube at right angles connect runners to posts and fixing of scuff fold ties this is the correct and effective use of right angle coupler number 2 bearer coupler bearer coupler used to fix a bearer to a runner bearer coupler used to connect scuff fold tube used as guardrail to a post bearer coupler must not be turned upside down you can see the shape of the bearer coupler here on the right hand side number 3 swivel coupler swivel couplers used to fix tubes together at various angles swivel coupler used to fix braces and swivel coupler not to be used to fix scuff fold ties these are the differences and you can understand you can identify swivel coupler by this shape on the right hand side now we'll discuss about fourth type of coupler that is sleeve coupler sleeve coupler used for externally joining two scuff fold tubes coaxially end to end this is here you can see number 5 joint pin coupler used for posts vertical connections only number 6 girder coupler girder coupler used to fix scuff folds to steel work this is the shape of girder coupler girder coupler must be used in pairs and can be used to tie scuff folds to steel work this is the shape of a girder coupler dear health and safety practitioners if i'll conclude this short training session that is about couplers their intended use and their benefits in erection assembly or dismantling i would like to say couplers are essential for maintaining scuff folding safety by securing the structural integrity and stability of the entire system they ensure strong connections between scuff folding tubes facilitating even load distribution and significantly reducing the risk of collapse couplers also enable efficient assembly and disassembly boosting both productivity and safety by adhering to construction standards and safety regulations couplers play a vital role in preventing accidents and injuries making them indispensable for a safe working environment on construction sites if you are interested to learn and be an expert scuff folding supervisor i'll keep the link of the playlist you can watch it you will grab a comprehensive knowledge about scuff folding safety for now that's all if you have any question please ask in the comment section thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and share the video hope to see you soon with a new hsc tutorial until then take care good luck and goodbye